So just looking from the front, you can see uh, the difference in the, the posture of the shoulder as one is held in a relatively uh, uh, upright position, the other one is tilted down because of the loss of the function of the serratus. And then, I'm mean, just go ahead and raise your arms up for us as best you can. So as soon as he goes to raise up that left arm, you see the scapula uh, point out at the very top. Then you can come back down, and then we'll do that one more time. So when he rests his arm, his scapula will come down, but as soon as he goes to raise it up, uh, there's no support from the serratus, so the scapula comes all the way up and off of his chest wall. And uh, because of that, this is as far as he can raise his arm, whereas this is what he has on the other side. Can you put your hand to your head? So he can now wash his hair, he can reach into the first cabinet, and then put your hands down by your side, and then go like this position here and see how far you can rotate out. So he's got that kind of rotation with the stability of the scapula. And then the harder one to do uh, is that we'll have you turn around, okay? And then try to reach up behind your back. So it, he has more motion here because the scapula gets out of the way. This one's fused, so there's only so much of the glenohumeral joint can tolerate. So for men, it's not a problem because it's the back pocket. For women who fasten their bra, uh, it's more difficult for them to do that behind their back in the past. And you can go ahead and relax your arms. And so you can see the incision on the medial border of the scapula here, and we'll do our best to match that up exactly here. He's had a erector spinae block, which will get the dorsal nerves that go into the skin in this region here will help to minimize this discomfort. And then uh, the posterior iliac crest graft here, which will take on this side here. We take it from the same side uh, so that it's not so difficult to move after surgery to have uh, iliac crest on one side and then this on the other side. And that works out. So um, with this position here, go ahead and raise your arms straight up in front of you. So again, you see what happens to the scapula. This one is fixed and it works very nicely. This one here comes up and slides up and then come back down. And then again, rotate your arms outwards so we just see how that works from the scapula again. Good. And let that come back down to there. Very good. Uh, can you bring your arms up in this position here? Okay. And then rotate your hands up like this. And then rotate your arms down like that. So although he has limitations on the right side, it's quite remarkable how much movement he's able to generate, you can let your arm relax now, because of the tremendous movement of the glenohumeral joint uh, and some flexibility of the spine above and below. We do fuse this, the spine of the scapula goes to the fourth rib, so we involve ribs three, four, five, and six uh, to get this to fuse across his chest wall and stabilize his shoulder and substitute for the serratus.